The family of the woman who was murdered, mutilated, and burned in a West Valley apartment is speaking to News 3 tonight. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. The family of 25-year-old Marissa Gonzalez is demanding justice tonight. She was visiting Las Vegas from Los Angeles last week when she was killed. The accused killer, Nathaniel Martinez, is in jail. Family members want to make sure their loved one's memory is not tarnished by what he is saying about her. This is our top story tonight. News 3's Antonio Castellan joins us live from the Clark County Jail. And Antonio, the murder suspect, appeared in court today. Jim, he did appear before a judge and did not show much emotion. The judge gave him no bail. While the murder suspect sits here at the Clark County Detention Center, the victim's uh, family wants to make sure that she is never forgotten. She is very pure. She's genuine. She's funny. She's very intelligent. She's so sweet, she's kind. It's the memories 25-year-old Marissa Gonzalez's big sister will always keep. Maisha Gonzalez, over the phone in Los Angeles, spoke of her family's loss. Gonzalez tells us her sister was visiting Las Vegas when she came into contact with 21-year-old Nathaniel Martinez on the Strip. It just makes me quivering. He's like, he's, I... I don't know, like evil really just does exist. A police report says Martinez took Gonzalez back to his west side apartment. The two had consensual sex. That's when Martinez claims Gonzalez told him she was a prostitute. She demanded money and threatened him with a knife. Martinez says he put her in a chokehold and thought she just passed out, but she was dead. Gonzalez's sister stresses her sister was not a prostitute. I feel like he's just trying to use an excuse. I mean, it's Vegas. He's just trying to use what what they're known for out there just to make him look like he's a good guy. He's trying to victimize himself. The report goes on to say Martinez put Gonzalez in a bathtub and tried dismembering her body. He also set her on fire. It's very gruesome and very horrific. And I, I never in a million years would, would have thought that happened to like someone so close to me, you know? The victim's sister goes on to say she would like to see the murder suspect face the death penalty. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3. All right, Antonio, thank you for the update tonight.